A message to youth. July 29th. In heavenly places. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. 1 John chapter 2 verse 14. The children and youth, with their fresh talent, energy, and courage, their quick susceptibilities, are loved of God, and He desires to bring them into harmony with divine agencies. Our children stand, as it were, at the parting of the ways. On every hand the world's enticements to self-seeking and self-indulgence call them away from the path cast up for the ransomed of the Lord. Whether their lives shall be a blessing or a curse depends upon the choice they make. They belong to Christ. They are the purchase of His blood, the claim of His love. They live because He keeps them by His power. Their time, their strength, their capabilities are His, to be developed, to be trained, to be used for Him. Young men and young women, gather a stock of knowledge. Keep reaching higher and still higher. It is the ability to put to the tax the powers of mind and body, ever keeping eternal realities in view, that is of value now. Seek the Lord most earnestly, that you may become more and more refined, more spiritually cultured. Then you will have the very best diploma that anyone can have, the endorsement of God. However large, however small, your talents, remember that what you have is yours only in trust. Thus God is testing you, giving you opportunity to prove yourself true. To Him belong your powers of body, mind, and soul, and for Him these powers are to be used. Your time, your influence, your capabilities, your skill, all must be accounted for to him who gives all. With such an army of workers as our youth rightly trained might furnish, how soon the message of a crucified, risen, and soon coming Savior might be carried to the whole world. How soon might the end come, the end of suffering and sorrow and sin. How soon, in place of a possession here, with its blight of sin and pain, our children might receive their inheritance where the righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. Psalm chapter 37 verse 29. The Review and Herald, May 16, 1912.